When you get knocked down, oftentimes it's up to you to build yourself back up. Well, Jordan Fremstad explains how one lacrosse man found his second chance after a career-ending accident. A moment can leave us stumbling around in the dark. And I'm now switching gears to pursue a lifelong interest in welding. Until a light snaps on. And suddenly, we find meaning out of the darkness. A time of uncertainty, a time of pain. Michael Roscos. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Knows the feeling. I was uh, working on our family farm. Mike suffered a career-ending injury. An injury that left me uh, <coughs> without vision in my right eye. Two big surgeries and countless weeks of recovery later. So here we are. At 55 years old, Roscos. Okay, perfect. Right. Is back in the classroom, just a mile down the road from his former office. So I went from no vision, black, to uh, in theory, being able to see 2020. Welding was a no brainer for Mike because his last career was also super hands on. This former 22 years surgeon. I think it's pretty cool. Chose a new path. You could live your life feeling sorry for yourself, or you could take advantage of, of what you still have. And I've decided to do the latter. We've spoken to Mike before. We don't see this very often. I do remember that. Everything went crazy from there. When he saved Todd Stinson. Liver injuries can be among the most challenging injuries to manage. But I remember his, his calmness, uh, his confidence. Back. Good. Back. Who suffered a near-death weightlifting accident. I'm here today because of him and the team. It means a lot. It means an awful lot. It's probably one of those top 10 moments. Mike who for 22 years gave others second chances. Keep learning. Received one himself. Take a chance. I think it serves as a fantastic role model for anyone that sees it. A chance to mend his new life with the skills of his past. All right, get your rod closer. Don't it's the ability to, to build new things. A new light in his life uh, he can see of... with clear eyes. Oh, well, there's two of it. <laughs> this is Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. Across. Oh, wow. Mike says he's going to apply his new skills to his hobby business. And the one thing he says he'll miss about his career in medicine is the people that he met. Something tells me he's going to meet a lot of awesome people because he's an awesome person. I think so too.